Hey, what's up guys? I'm back again today to talk about um, my Seiko 5 Pepsi Diver. And I purchased this watch last month and I did some modifications to this watch as been logged in my video channel. But something's been bugging me with this watch uh, in, in terms of like people's reaction to it when they first see it. Um, now I love this watch that don't get me wrong. It's pretty much, I think flawless, um, especially with the uh, Sapphire Crystal with the AR code in, it looks like it's worth a lot more than it is. And because of that, it gets a lot of attention on the wrist. And a lot of people either mistake this for a GMT Rolex or a Submariner Rolex watch. And when I break the news to them that it's not, it's I usually say something like, oh, it's even better than that, it's a Seiko 5. And they're like, a Seiko? So people's first impression is thinking that this watch is an imitation Rolex a Submariner imitation Rolex GMT which at first glance it looks like a combination of the Rolex Submariner and the Rolex GMT watch with the Pepsi uh, bezel as well as the way the overall diver look of the watch and a lot of people aren't familiar with diver watches so they assume if a watch looks like this it's either a Rolex watch or an imitation of a Rolex watch or a fake Rolex or whatever and this is neither. It's neither trying to be a Rolex, nor is it trying to clone a Rolex or imitate a Rolex. Uh, Seiko has been making divers since 1965, and Rolex, I think, beat them by a decade with the Submariner. And the Submariner in 1954 does not or did not look anything like the Submariners of today. And uh, and thing that was the Submariner with the reference 6200, as well as they had some 62. Uh, XX uh, models through in that first decade of the Submariner's run. Now, the Seiko 05 watches um, comes from a long line of uh, of watches going back to 1960, the 1960s, and this watch, the Seiko 05, has evolved through the years from the first Seiko 5 watch to what you see here. Um, over decades of production and decades of um, the watch being tried and true. Um, in terms of what it sets out to do, which is being a diver. And now, there's key differences between um, this and a Rolex Submariner, as well as key differences between this and a Rolex GMT. I'm not sure if my friend Tristano um, TGV, the Urban Gentry channel, I'm not sure if he did a, I can't remember if he did a, because I know he has both, or he had um, the Seiko SKX 007 or 009, the Pepsi bezel as well as he recently picked up a Rolex GMT. So I'm not sure if he did a comparison between those two watches because he owns both of those watches and wear both of those watches. I think he got rid of the Seiko watch though um, to support the um, upkeep of the GMT. So I'm, I'm gonna just discuss that real quick just to clear the air with that. So I'm gonna sort of switch, um, switch the camera angle around uh, to show you guys what I have in front of me here. So give me a minute. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to rotate the camera. So in front of me, I have a picture of... This is my Grail watch. This is the watch I want to own one day, which is a Submariner a white gold with the blue bezel. And now the differences here is sort of the main difference is the hand, the dial hands, as well as the chapter ring that's existent on the Seiko 5 watch, but sort of different on the um, Rolex Submariner where the chapter ring is sort of in the, it's on the dial face, whereas the chapter ring, the chapter ring are the little indices that sort of go around the bezel, on the inside of the bezel. Here, it's its own sort of layer of chapter ring there. It's its not on the dial face, and it's not quite in the bezel, but it's sort of the, it gives the watch a bit of depth the way it is. It goes around, sort of sloped, almost straight horizontal in reference to the um, dial and bezel. It's a straight sort of downward um, dip there. Whereas on the Rolex Submariner, it's just a silver um, dip, and the chapter rings is on the bezel. There, the obvious difference is the Rolex Submariner has that glass, um, that eye, that magnifying glass there, whereas this does not. And in my crystal, um, 
modification on this watch, I realized not having that glass eye was a really good thing in terms of upgrading the crystal. And that's one of the positive of this Seiko watch. You could upgrade it real easily to anything you want in terms of the bracelet, the crystal, the case body could even be upgraded. I've seen um, people do that online. So the Rolex, not so much. So what you see here with the Rolex is what you get. Um, the second min the second timekeeping hand is also a little different. As you can see there, Rolex has the, um, the loom dot on the, I guess, the work, the business end of the um, hand, whereas on the Seiko, it's on the sort of the non-business end, which is the non-timekeeping side of that um, hand there. The Submariner um, 5, I mean, sorry, the Seiko 5 gives you the date as well as the date there. The Submariner does not, so you could pretty much see that. The only key difference is the kind of the diver shape of the watch. I believe that's called the oyster shape. I'm not sure. I'm not a... I'm not even into divers, actually. I admit that. I, going into this watch, I was not really into divers. I always wanted this watch as my dream Rolex watch because it's white gold, and I've held it and worn it in store, and I really like the look and feel of this watch. So uh, in saying that, I did not buy this watch to sort of compensate for not having this one because that's a totally different watch. Now, so this gives you more information. Uh, the hands are obviously different. The bezel ring is where the watch... Watch, being both divers, they kind of have the same information along the bezel, as well as the differences there. There's no, uh, I guess that's a loom dot on the Rolex there. There's no loom dot here. Um, so you see that there. And this has the Pepsi logo or Pepsi design on that bezel ring. The Submariners never came with this um, Pepsi design on the bezel ring. Only the GMT did. So, and the bracelets, I'm not even going to describe this compare the bracelet, but the Seiko bracelet is obviously one from a watch that's in a sub $200 range. It's not solid end links. It's not even solid um, links there. The Rolex is going to give you all that that this doesn't have. And the Rolex also have screw down um, holders for the links as well. This does, just has the push pin kind of logos. This on the case body has a see-through um, case back. Rolex Submariner does not have that. So let's go into the next thing. We have the Rolex GMT watch. And here the, there's even more of, a, of a, a difference between these two watch. This is the earlier GMT with the uh, Jubilee bracelet. So you can see there right away the hands are different. The GMT has the extra hand there. The Pepsi bezel on the GMT is a lot different than the um, Pepsi bezel on the Seiko 5, as you see there. As well as the, the bezel on the GMT is an indicator of hours in the second time zone, I believe. And that's a 24-hour sort of... Um, clock there or you know information in the seat there whereas this one is a diverse bezel um, so key differences there as well and I'm not sure if it's the photography of this watch versus this but the indices in the dial are much thicker like the dots are thicker and the nine o'clock six o'clock indices are much thicker than than what I see here as well as what I see here in a Rolex Submariner looks thicker and stout like shorter and thicker there also the 12 o'clock is a little different. There in a Rolex is an arrow here, it's more of um, something else. There. As well as here is an arrow. It's it's not an arrow here. So that's another key difference there. And the Rolex logo is even a little different than the Seiko logo. Seiko says Seiko 5 sports. It has water resistant there as well as the jewels and it tells you it's automatic movement. The Rolex kind of says that, so it's a little bit different on the Rolex. And I have more pictures here of the Submariner, as you can see, and another one of the GMT closer up. And this is the newer GMT, I believe, without the Jubilee bracelet. And the dial here is pure black, whereas the dial here is a blue. It's a really dark navy blue, and I really prefer this dial to just having an all-black dial with the Pepsi bezel around it. Here it's slightly blue, and the sapphire with the blue AR coating sort of lends to that blue. It looks really, really nice. All right, guys, so that's it. So clearly you can see it's a totally different watch. The histories between these two watches, or three watches, or the two watch brands are completely different than... Uh, then just saying Seiko's copying Rolex or Rolex is copying Seiko. So that's it, guys. Have a good one. Bye.